today I'm gonna to be doing an iPhone 17 Pro charge test. We have a new charger in town. This is the 40 watt dynamic power, 60 watt max charger. So this is something totally new from Apple and you guys already know I had to put it to the test on my charge test on the iPhone 17 Pro. I'm also gonna compare that to the Apple 30 watt power adapter. And last but not least, I'm gonna throw in a MagSafe cable connected to the 30 watt as well. Now, before we continue, a big thanks to today's sponsor, Jackery. Meet the Jackery Home Power 3600 Plus, your essential home backup system built for families who don't have to worry about the lights going out. And I'm telling you, this is an absolute powerhouse. With 3,600 watts of output and expandable capacity to up to 21 kilowatt hours, it delivers consistent, reliable power to your essentials. That means keeping your home running and your food fresh throughout any outage. The Home Power 3600 Plus can power a family fridge for up to 14 days. Plus with UPS mode, it switches over in just 0.01 seconds. So computers and medical equipment never miss a beat. And most importantly, this is built for safety with surge protection to up to 2000 watts, fire resistant certification, smart dual chip temperature control, and ceramic battery cells rated for over 6,000 life cycles. That's more than 10 years of performance. And unlike bulky gas generators, this is the world's lightest and smallest 3.6 kilowatt hour LFP power station. Not only is it safe for indoors, it's ultra portable and easy to roll effortlessly. And with the Jackery app, you can control everything, track your energy in real time, maximize solar, and you can even cut monthly electric bills to a whopping 57%. For unmatched power, safety, and peace of mind, the Jackery Home Power 3600 Plus is the ultimate home backup solution. Check the link in the description to learn more. And thank you so much to Jackery for sponsoring a portion of this video. And we are back. Now, all of the iPhone 17 Pros are completely dead. And like I said, testing out the MagSafe with 30 watt, 30 watt, and the 40 watt dynamic power. So just showcasing that the MagSafe is connected officially from Apple, and it just matches well with that silver color. Now, I'm using an iPhone 7 as a timer. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at simply pops now at this point on you guys can see that i am trying to match the wallpaper enable that battery widget and yeah the the 40 watt is faster right now as it stands but uh, very closely you guys are going to see the difference between the two So yeah, one hour and 26 minutes, the 40 watt dynamic finished first. And then shortly after, I kid you not, shortly after one hour and 39 minutes, the 30 watt completed the charge. So it's not really much of a big difference. And of course we waiting for that 30 watt with MagSafe to finish. And as you guys can see, I did had to disable the optimized charging so we can uh, boost up the charging speed. Cause once your phone charged to 80%, start to slowly charge its phone, but um, or charge the battery, I should say. But two hours and 49 minutes, the MagSafe has completed. Ah, there you guys have it. That is the charge test on the iPhone 17 Pro. I really wanna do one for the iPhone Air because that's gonna get even worse charging. But man, this charger really disappointed me. I thought it was gonna bring dramatic speeds, but it was pretty much neck on neck between the 30 watt and this new 40 watt dynamic power. 
and MagSafe, of course, that's going to be the slowest, no surprise there. But I always recommend the MagSafe charging for at night if you go into bed, especially if you have a nice Belkin MagSafe stand to enable standby mode and everything. MagSafe is pretty good at night, but if you're in a rush to go to work or school, that's not the best option. And that's where you're going to have to lead in towards the 30 watt or this. I'll easily pick the 30 watt or maybe even some third party reputable chargers such as Anchor uh, can support up to 30 watts too. So I recommend sticking to that because the charging speeds is not that much. I mean, you may be saving about three minutes, three minutes on this. That's, that's, yeah, that's not really a big difference at all. But I am going to be doing more testing on this, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe. The iPhone 17 content continues. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll answer them. And other than that, I hope you all, other than that, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.